Hello everyone. So I'm into gardening now. It's cool. Anyway, so I did a little shorts video and I wanted to show you on how I'm going through the process of baking these agroponic towers, I think they're called. Uh, anyway, this is how I went from this to this. So, watch to the end, you'll find out how I did it and where I went wrong. Bonus points for anyone who comments and tells me how I went wrong. No explosions on this one. Right, so, got the tube now back. Uh, all we really need to do is cut it in half. So, hopefully you can all hear me. So, trust the tape measure, so this, Go along. Da, 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 da. Just shy of 300 millimeters. That's three meters. Is that right? No, 300 centimeters. <laughs> God. So to get this done right, then. Hundred and fifty centimeters is here. And there we go. So for these, it's not ultimately important that these are going to be smooth or even square or anything. You're going to chuck these in the ground because the other end of these have been machined or machine cut. If you want to get really, oh, oh well, yeah, if you want to get really into making everything neat, you can do. I'm not going to. Let's make the holes. Right, we've got the pipe back in. So what we'll do is we'll get it measured out. And the tools of choice will be a tape measure, strangely, a Sharpie. I'll, these are the socket and an extension pipe, but I'll show you exactly what they'll do. You need a heat gun, and I'll show you at the end of the video why you don't use a blowtorch, for obvious reasons. We want the hole Saw drill. So initially, for me, measure from the end, and you kind of want it is in the middle as you want to. I mean, you don't have to be really accurate, but you can. So for me, you go eight inches down. So just move this off slightly. Sorry, I'm totally distracted. There's a, um, there's a probably a magpie on our my shed roof. Uh oh. There we go. That'll be enough. So now we've got that. Let's then drill those holes. And again, it doesn't matter whether you're going to be totally accurate in the centre or not, because yes, aesthetically it will look nice, but in a bit of confusion.
Okay, so, so that's that. So I won't bore you, but I'm gonna do a rotation, 90 odd degrees. And repeat. But what I'm gonna then do is offset it. So let me What I mean by offsetting Why doesn't everything want to balance today? What I mean by offsetting is we've got eight down here I want to then go into the middle of that Those two, so essentially I wanted to come in here, so Why is that oh, it's a little bit odd? Just a whole sore again. Got to keep my t-shirt nice and clean. Wonderful birthday present, thank you very much. Julie, or me Julie. Right. Right, and the final one. And there we go. There you go, there's your tube. Right, let's start putting together the holders. And this is by magic, Flora appears and a cloth. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna apply heat to this. So this is um, PVC plastic. Generally, it's got a Kind of a pliable point about 100 odd degrees now i have tried pouring water over this it's a pain in the ass anyway i've also done other stuff blowtorch not advisable i'll show you why in a bit but i have got a method that works quite well so what i want to do for me is though these holes are 40 mil holes i've got now my old 21 mil impact socket from when i worked at a car company. What I want to do is just wedge that in there. It's a nice little nod, lodge, lodge, ledge, that thing on there. And what we're going to do, and I don't know whether it's going to, oops, put that there for now. I'm just going to show you roughly what I'm going to do. So you see, uh, if, if you apply heat up here, this will split. What we want to do is literally apply heat 
to about here. So my my heating part, and um, you know, this is for my back gun, so I don't care too much. Roughly in and around that area. So that's not a signature, by the way. Don't try to copyright it. My signature is different. Um, but yeah, that's where you want to be applying the heat. And what we let, because then what happens is that becomes more pliable here, allows it to raise up, and it gradually starts moving across here. You, you give it a bit of a wiggle, you kind of moving it up and down. But generally, this is where you want to heat up first to let it go through there. And then what we want to then do is obviously avoiding any form of catastrophe with water and electrics as it says moving the towel to one side is what we're going to do is use the water with the rag cool it down and the plastic then once it's dropped enough temperature it will then just set so let's see how it goes right you don't want to so with your heat gun this goes two stage so you want it on your lower setting yeah if you go too high setting you end up with blistering so so right let's go Whilst doing this, if you apply a little bit of pressure initially, you'll start to get an understanding of when it's gonna, gonna go because you'll start right now, it's starting to be able to move gradually down slightly. Again, there's no rush with this. See, it's now starting to move. Heat elsewhere. You don't need too much. Apply a damp cloth. Move away. Hey presto! We've just got a bit of a, a bulge. What we'll do is I'll do the rest of these. I won't bore you with the rest of this stuff, but I'll do the rest of these. And then we'll come back and show you on how the finished item looks. Stay tuned. I'll do it in time lapse so it's really fun. And there we go so got all those done i won't bear you with the others um i don't know whether you can see this but you can just see that i was a bit ott with the old thing i got distracted thinking of other things better.